Meat Boy is here. This week we are making carnivore crab cakes with the carnivore mayonnaise that we made last Saturday. Definitely check that out. Crab cakes are a super delicious and approachable way to get your omega fatty acids in, all of those other fat soluble vitamins. This recipe will be carnivore keto depending on your interpretation of spices and of course you can add some regular ingredients to make it more traditional and still a very nutritious, very healthy version. This is specialized to people with those stricter dietary restrictions. Let's take a look at the ingredients. How's my hair look today? Now that I got ripped off $9 for a dozen duck eggs by my local Amish farmer, we can get started. I like using three egg yolks instead of the traditional one whole egg. You know, egg yolks are where the nutrition is stored, therefore, you know, healthier for you. Uh, we made the mayonnaise last week, duck eggs, duck fat, uh, vinegar, some mustard. As I said, check out that video. Lump crab meat might be hard to find. I would check out a local Asian market. Uh, this might be between like $12 and $20 for a pound. Uh, claw meat is much cheaper than the lump meat. This is pre-cooked and steamed, you know, so we don't have to cook this or do anything to it beforehand. If you bought some flaky fish, chopped it up, sauteed it, you know, you might be able to make some type of fish cake. I don't know how that would turn out. Here we have some pork rinds. Uh, I actually made this recipe with Parmesan cheese last week. Turned out really delicious, uh, but you know, a fair bit more expensive. Uh, these are epic pork rinds. I think the bag was three or four dollars. And this is where you can, you know, maybe substitute almond flour, coconut flour. I don't know if you want to go more classic, you know, make your own breadcrumbs. You could do that. We have red boat fish sauce. Uh, traditionally, you use Worcestershire sauce, which has anchovies, a bunch of spices. Uh, this just has anchovy sea salt. You know, fermented, gives it more depth of flavor. A uh, very classic crab seasoning, Old Bay. And you could try to replicate this with like high quality organic spices. Uh, celery salt, red pepper, paprika, black pepper. I don't really know. Uh, of course, we have mustard. I use a Dijon style mustard from France that has minimal ingredients. Uh, just mustard seeds, water, sea salt, and vinegar. Of course, we have our salt and pepper for seasoning, and we're just going to combine them. Uh, you guys are going to need a food processor, a bowl to mix this, as well as some butter and a frying pan to cook these in afterwards. First, I have three egg yolks. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of fish sauce. And you don't really have to add salt to this recipe. You know, the fish sauce is super salty. The pork rinds are super salty. I would be more conservative in this. Recipe calls for two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Again, I would be light on the mustard as well. This can really overpower the flavor of the crab cake. A few cracks of fresh black pepper. We want about a teaspoon of Old Bay. I like to go a little heavier on this stuff. Maybe like two teaspoons. I like to mix the wet with the spices, just so when we add the crab, it'll incorporate nice and evenly. You could do this with the mayonnaise too, but you know, this is pretty solid after being in the fridge. Now we want a third of a cup of the mayonnaise. Of course we have our crab and I'm going to throw these in the food processor real quick. Piece of shit. Now that you're angry at your piece of shit Cuisinart, how does this happen? Like it flew off and now it got jammed in the plastic. Am I going to slice my hand open taking this out? This is ridiculous. How did this happen? I'm going to leave that. I'll just bang it out later. So we want three quarter of a cup of pork rinds. I'm going to add maybe like half of this. I'll see how dry the mixture is, and then maybe we'll add some more. Now, if you have an omega-6 concern with the pork rinds, then just use Parmesan cheese or something else. Thing is, you add a lot of Parmesan cheese to this to draw out moisture, it's gonna be really, really salty. So it's holding together really well. I'm gonna portion this into balls. I have some grass-fed butter melting in this pan. You could use raw butter if you'd like to. I know you guys give me crap for using this pan, but I don't feel like cleaning my carbon steel this time of night. Uh, crab cakes are all nice and rolled up. Uh, don't make these too big. It makes them a little bit hard to flip. And keep in mind, the crab meat is pre-cooked. So all we want to do is get a nice brown crust on the outside and cook the egg through. Really just get the crab cake to set with a nice crust. Butter's warmed up. I'm going to place these in the pan and press them down slightly so they resemble a crab cake. So again, what I did was I rolled them into balls, pressed them down gently. Now they resemble a crab cake. You could press them down as much as you want, you know, make them flatter, wider. 
They'll cook a little quicker. And the only mistake you can really make with this recipe is if the batter is too wet, these will fall apart very easily in the pan. What I like to do is, you know, just give the pan a little shake, keep them moving around so we get a nice even crust on the bottom. So I'm gonna put these on this side. I'm gonna put this one over here. Give myself a lot of space to flip this. I wanna get the whole spatula underneath. And then I want to kind of like gently turn it over. Just be careful with every single one of these. Yeah, I spent all this time sourcing the quality ingredients. Little patience goes a long way. I'm going to lower the heat. Give these a few more minutes on this side to cook through. Total cook time on the stove, you know, around 10 minutes. If they're a little thick and they're not cooked in the middle, you could take them out, put them in the oven, let them cook through in the middle without getting too dark of a crust. Do this uh, fast, easy way. Messy way too. No, maybe like 350 for seven, eight, nine minutes. Speaking of ovens, what I really like doing and what I usually do when I don't want to make such a mess or have as much time is I make these in a muffin tin. I guess you would call them crab muffins instead of crab cakes. Uh, but just scoop the crab mixture into some buttered muffin tins. Throw in the oven, 15, 20 minutes, 350. Egg sets up really nice. You don't get that dark brown crust, uh, but maybe you could even broil it on the top a little bit and get some browning. Uh, definitely quicker, definitely easier. Not traditional though. 10 minutes in the oven and man, do these smell amazing. I'm gonna let these cool for like five or 10 minutes. Uh, sometimes you do serve crab cakes with tartar sauce. Uh, if you'd like to, you know, add some pickles, some shallot, some herbs, mustard, lemon juice to that homemade mayonnaise, and you'll have yourself a healthy, high quality tartar sauce. You know, a bunch of variations on tartar sauce online. This is definitely not gonna need it. When you use really high quality ingredients, you don't have to add extra things. If you make like sourdough einkorn wheat bread and put some raw butter on it, you're gonna get fat just eating that. You know, you don't have to make garlic bread, you don't have to make a sandwich. Quality equals amazing taste. We're gonna try the browner, crispier one because my mother is very particular and doesn't like golden brown and delicious stuff. She calls it burnt. What are you gonna do? Looks good, held together really well. Oh, this smells, <laughs> this is crazy. This is spanking. This is so good. You know, when I opened my like quality grass-fed steakhouse in New York City in two or three years, best new restaurant, 2020. You heard it here, or well, 2022, you heard it here first. Man, this is so good. It's not that salty. Maybe we could have added some salt. Very well seasoned. Can definitely go lighter on the Old Bay. You know, it's crunchy on the outside, it's soft on the inside. No flavor really sticks out too much. It's nice and balanced. The depth of flavor with those quality egg yolks, with that mayonnaise, the fifth, oh, oh my God. That is how Frankie boys uh, gaining weight for bodybuilding. I've made a lot of really, really tasty food, but I don't usually make a lot of savory stuff like this. Usually it's like healthy desserts. This is a nice change of pace. Now I think uh, Saladino is gonna have a cookbook next year. I'm assuming this recipe is gonna be in it as well as every other recipe on my channel. Oh, we forgot to sprinkle some collagen powder on it though. No, oh, and some eggshells, don't forget. Guys, please let me know what other recipes you would like to see. I've been itching to do a healthy cheeseburger and a healthy pizza recipe, although I'm a little afraid of people stealing those. I, I feel like those are super unique and, and approachable and you know everyone loves those. So I do have those recipes on my Patreon currently, but if you guys share this video a lot, it gets a lot of likes, more views than usual. I might give you guys a cheeseburger or pizza recipe in the near future. I made the cheeseburger before, it, it, it is nutty. It is, it is bonkers. It is, it is, it is, what other new word can I use? Unsuitable or suitable, very suitable for consumption. 
Uh, but as always, thank you guys for joining me. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't. As I said, above all, please, please, please share the video. You want to support me further? Check out Frankie's Syringe Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Who knows, maybe six, seven, eight, however many months from now, we'll be selling crab cakes on Frankie's Syringe Meat. We really want to offer tasty, high quality, affordable, nutrient dense animal foods across the whole spectrum. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Uh, the quality of my cosmetic products is good enough to eat, although they don't taste as good as these crab cakes. If you guys do wanna reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, perhaps cooking lessons uh, from a master chef dropout, you can shoot me an email, frankatofano at gmail.com. Thanks as always for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.